What's up guys, welcome back. On today's episode, we're gonna answer an important question. How much power does your PC need? You'll find out next, you know where, on the Ultimate Tech Hub. So guys, if you've ever built or upgraded your PC, you probably asked that important question. How much power do I need to run this PC? So before we answer this question, we need to answer this question first. Why do I need to know how much power it takes to run my PC? And the simple answer is to save you money. And the last thing you want to do is waste money on a 1200 watt power supply when a 600 watt power supply would be plenty. And a 1200 watt power supply can be very expensive, especially if you don't need it. <laughs> so back to our original question, how much power does it take to run my PC? Well, to get that answer, let's go over all the power consumptions for every component in your PC, and then we can add it all up to get that important answer. So now pause the video and grab a pencil and a piece of paper. You'll want to write down these numbers as we go. Are you ready? Let's get started. Let's start with the hard drive first. A typical hard drive consumes about five to 10 watts of power. That's an HDD. Now an SSD drive will consume less power because there's no moving parts in a solid state drive. So an SSD drive will consume between four and eight watts of power. Next is the motherboard. And motherboards typically draw between 40 and 50 watts on average. A cheap motherboard can draw 25 watts, and a high-end can draw 80 watts. Next is random access memory. As a rule of thumb, RAM draws 3 watts of power for every 8 gigabytes of DDR3 or DDR4 memory. However, high-performance memory can draw more power, especially if you overclock the voltage beyond the XMP settings. So keep this in mind. Next is CPUs. CPUs are a bit more specific for power consumption. So here is a list of the typical power draw for these specific CPUs. But for a good average, CPUs draw between 55 and 95 watts of power for the mid-range chips. Next is the all-important GPU. Once again, this depends on which GPU you have. Here is a list of power consumption examples. For example, an RTX 2060 Super will consume nearly 180 watts of power. The power consumption of today's graphics cards have increased a lot, especially when running 3D graphics. The top models demand between 110 and 270 watts from the power supply. And powerful GPUs under full load requires as much power as the rest of the components of a PC system combined. Wow. So once again, keep this in mind when you buy a GPU. Next is the optical drive, or Blu-ray burner. And these draw between 20 and 25 watts of power. Next are case fans. And fans draw between 1 and 6 watts of power depending on the size. And here's a list of sizes and watts. A water-cooled CPU will draw about 10 watts of power. A USB mouse and keyboard will draw about 3 watts combined. So now pause the video and add up all the numbers. Okay, are you ready? For our custom PC, our total power consumption is 485 watts. Okay, now that you have your total power consumption for all your PC components, here are three very important things to consider before buying a power supply for your computer. Obviously, your total power consumption from all your PC components is very important. However, we need to add one more number to this list. This important number is for future power consumption like for upgrades, and when you overclock your system. As a rule of thumb, you should have an extra 100 to 150 watts of power for upgrades and for peak performance. So never get the bare minimum power supply for your system. Always add some extra watts for that power consumption cushion. It's better to be safe than sorry. And the last two important things to talk about is the brand and type of power supply you will use. I recommend a modular power supply, which has power cables that can be added or removed depending on your PC build. Also, do your research on the brand of power supply and read the reviews. And always keep your receipt for your power supply in case it goes out before the warranty expires. 
and the lifespan of a power supply is typically between four and five years, depending on the quality of that power supply. So expect a cheap power supply to last between two and three years. So guys, now you know exactly how much power your PC needs to work well now and into the future. And guys, don't forget to visit my Patreon page, where $2 a month helps keep this channel going. And for every new member, I do a personal shout out on the very next video. And remember, if you like these videos, give a thumbs up and share it. If you love them, hit subscribe to keep this channel alive. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it.